All right, so here we have a pretty good, decent 5G signal here. Uh, I just got a speed test here, 349, 81.1 up. Um, let's just hop in service mode really quick. And we're on N71 um, with uh, band 66 with uh, 20 by 20. Looks like what else we got here? Band two with a 10 by 10 and uh, band 71, five by five for CA. If I go into my cell here, if I go into my cell mapper here, you can see I'm at about negative uh, 55 decibels here, uh, about 60 on the LTA, LTEA, sorry. So I got that 349, let's see if I can reproduce that. You'll see it easily hops up. Man, it might even beat it. Yep, we're beating it. 365. Got a notification that it kind of interrupted it last second. A little bit higher on the upload speed this time too. 92, up. Oh. So it's 14 millisecond ping. That jitter's a little high for what I'd like to see. But if we go in here, you can see we got our 349 here on our last test. We had 11 milliseconds with a five, uh, five millisecond jitter. 12 is a little higher than I'd like to see. Let me see, uh, let me do my best here not to block the antennas and let's give it another go. Easily shoots up over 200. I think they've been tuning this tower. I came here the other day and only got 296. So it's nice to see improved speeds even in just in the last couple days. Um, and this is pre-N41 deployment. They're looking at N41 here. Um, I think it's still going to be a couple weeks, uh, a couple weeks out. Um, man, I was hoping this upload speed would be able to push over 100. There's a spot here in town where I was getting about 120 up. So I was really hoping that they'd be able to push that here on uh, the University of New Mexico campus. But um, honestly, 355, uh, 367, anywhere in that 350 range. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty darn impressive. Let's give it. Let's give it one more. Uh, let me pop it into service mode. And one more time here. Let me give the speed test a start, and let me make sure it is on N71. For all I know, because I did say this has been a serious improvement, I'm gonna let that get started there. Yeah, it's definitely on N71. I wanted to see if they had turned on an N41 uh, source yet, but I am not seeing it. Yeah, that really popped it down in the background. So let's, uh, I, want, I do want to try one thing here. We're going to pop into, um, into our uh, uh, service mode again, going to our 5G. And I do want to see if there is any band 41 here. Um, actually, let's, uh, let me actually just throw it on NRSA standalone. Let's give that an apply. And it's going to take a second here to switch over. As you can see, there's zero bars. So I'm on N71. Interesting that it's showing no bars, but I'm seeing RSRP of negative 54. So uh, let's just give it another run here. Um, I think they may be tuning the tower right now because this is a little weird. Yeah, so without those CA bands on the standalone, it's not not quite as fast. Let's see what the upload looks like. Yeah, so you can really see the advantage of those CA bands here, um, just helping out the uh, speeds. Definitely still on N71. Let me uh, re-enable all our bands here. And shows NR. Let's see if I pop into speed test. If I start running this, it says LTE down there. So I think it just popped in. Yeah, it's just on LTE advanced. Anyway, that's about it. We uh, we're just uh, doing some more speed testing out here. So it's nice to see that they've been making improvements over the last couple of days. I got a little excited thinking it was N41, but uh, not yet. It's still good to see though.